very nice. This crazy, it's been a long time since I did this. Uh, I think I'm live. Oh shit, yeah, I am live. <laughs> Right, all right. New MSQ. Where do we begin? I have terrible timing when it comes to this. Food delivery is in about five minutes. Right. First things first. Let's get some busy work out of the way. This new armor. New armor. Mm. Oh, shit. Alright, the new stuff are here. How expensive would they be, I wonder? Uh, huh. Alright. Market bot. You're my best friend time. Markets are going nuts right now. Try this again. Okay, let's see how much. Is it a million for everything? Eight hundred thousand. Yeah, you know what? I'll just bite the bullet and just buy it. Might be cheaper tomorrow, it might be more expensive tomorrow, whatever. I can afford it. Food is here. I'll have to be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Alright, the unfortunate thing is, um... What the hell is this? Haha! <laughs> oh, that looks pretty punk-ass. Ooh, can, can, can Hoodie go on? Interesting. Okay, so now the question is... What's the melding priorities? Alright. Oh man, I was hoping to just jump straight to MSQ. I didn't think I'll be stuck doing this for a while. Uh, let's see. Samurai, Samurai. Uh, samurai. a sort like oh oh I love this oh I like it a lot I like this I like this I like oh man ah oh, shit I like this a lot uh, let's compare okay so the blade Okay, let's just see the tip of the blade reaches about this end of the this end of the pillar. It's about the same length, but it looks longer. Oh, I like it. I like it. It looks like the other Samurais are still discussing what the optimal material slot is. Uh, okay. Someone created already? Okay, there there is a pre oh shit. Man, the samurais work fast. There already is a preliminary uh There really is a preliminary melding set. Okay, uh, let's get let's get out of here first. Allow me to water my plants. But... Yeah, time to melt. Time to melt shit. I, I hope this uh. Preliminary set is as accurate as it gets. Okay, let's look here. That's a lot of direct hit and critical. That's a fair bit of determination. Best food now is big egg plant.
Okay. Saving up. Let's hope I have enough. First things first, we meld the head. Okay. Two direct 36. Chess is dire Chess is double crit. Determination. Legs direct and determination. Double critical. Earrings, critical and the domination. All right, no, no. Let's let's just start first. Fill everything up first. Uh. Crit, 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 determination, determination, okay? Sword would probably get replaced with trial weapon. So I don't think I'll need to pentamel that. Okay. Earring second is the domination. Determination as well. Oh, I lost twelve. That is painful. Wrist is critical. Rings are determination. So let's. Ouch. Lost sixteen. Ouch. Lost eleven. 
you know, I'm gonna head outside the house. I think I have better luck outside the house. In fact, you know, let's head back to Limsa. I tend to have better luck in the city. Let me go to my usual melding spot. Okay. Okay. Let the pain continue. Wristband is critical. There we go. There we go. All right. It is direct. I lost six. That's all right. Chess determination. Now oh, I'm running low on determination. Jeez. Lost another six. Gloves. Determination. Legs. Determination. Oh dear. Okay, I lost two. Got material somewhere? Material master? Mm. Nope. He doesn't sell material. Off the ruts at Han. Okay. So determination for my legs. Determination. Ooh, I lost fifteen. All right, feet critical. Instant success. Is that all for Material X? Yeah, I, I believe that's all for Material X. Alright. So... Allow me to put the Material X away. Now it's time for the material nines. Ok. 
Okay, let's begin with the rings. For the rings... Check something. Let's have a look. Let's confirm this again. Okay, for the rings is determination. Determ Holy shit, the rings? Both rings are full determination. Alright. Five. Lost eleven. Okay, let's go upwards. Risk this critical. That's a lot of determination, holy shit. Lost one. Earrings, also determination. Lost three. Okay. Go back to hit. Hit is direct, direct. Oh, big explosion. How many did I lose? 32. Okay. Body is chest. Chest is on my fourth. Critical. I lost seven, okay. Hands, determination, determination. I lost eight. Legs, determination, direct. Ouch, I lost 20. Uh, he is critical. Ouch. Lost 27. Earrings. Determination, determination. So only risk is critical. Everything else is domination. Let's get this over and done with. Wrist critical. Very nice. Lost two only. Beat critical. Lost six. Two out of the way, all right. Okay. 
Okay, for the rest of the accessories, it's determination all the way. Explosion. I lost 38. Ouch. Ouch. Itai, itai. Thirteen. Oh, do I have enough determination? Oh no. Lost 42. I don't have enough determination. Oh no. All right, let's deal with the direct first. Hit direct. Lost 25. Legs direct. Ooh, wow, okay. <laughs> Okay, so I'm left with chest determination, hands determination. One, two, three, four. The rest are determination. Yikes. All right, let's, let's do this bit by bit, all right? Six are lost. Mm. One. Okay. Okay. Eleven. Okay. Okay. Are lost. Uh. Thirteen. Seven, almost done. Ouch. 24, and we're done. All right. Should I pentamel the sword? It might be a while before I get the sword from the trial. So let's just do it.
All right. I am fully Penta melded. Let's glam up. Sell some material. That's surprisingly cheap. Hmm. I wonder if the prices will go up. Sell it tomorrow instead. Wondering if the prices will go up. People are still waiting for um, the VIS charts, I suppose. Alright, let's. Not delay any further. MSQ time. Okay. Where's the MSQ? Up. Oh. At the Megaduta. Megaduta. Second, let me check some of the things here. Okay, all right, let's head to the Megaduta. the game's volume a little bit. How have you been? Heading somewhere? That's a good question. Is she heading somewhere? Oh, he's gonna eat. Can we have a meal together? Invitation too. Ah, so it's the three of us. Yo has errands to run. Okay. Where is it? Zaso. All 
right? Mistrust zero, okay. Picking up spice, okay. <laughs> Mistress zero has quite the tolerance to spice. All right. Oh wow, she, she's better than locals. <laughs> Oh, is it because she had the curry bun up in Galamol? Well, if that's the case, that's cute. Okay, let's choose a spice. Lustrous Crimson Powder. Aromatic Black Corn. Little Red Husk. Coarse yellow flakes. Mala, let's go. Mala. pleasure well now this is enough to make a whole kettle of your special curry I don't need that much <laughs> rest assured it's easy enough to make a serving just for you or we could make the kettle and share it oh there would be enough not only for your companions but other diners Baba as well. Booey. I dare say everyone will be delighted. Very well. A full kettle then. All right. Excellent. We'll prepare it at once. And for your excellency and our esteemed adventurer, are you happy to try a bowl of Zero's curry? We can make yours milder if you prefer. Milder? No. Oh. Grateful though I am for the offer, I cannot fully appreciate the flavor with this vessel. Another time, perhaps. Cheater. Cheater. Do not hold back on my account, my friend. Eat and enjoy. Coward. Coward. And I'll have for His Excellency's helping. Understood. Please make yourselves comfortable. Hmm. Nom nom nom. It gladdens me to see you taking to life in Radzat Han, Zero. 
in the area of our cuisine, not least of all. Spicy dishes have long been favored in our sultry clime for their ability to whet the appetite and cool the body. Of course, spices also have the effect of preserving foods, which makes them highly coveted in foreign lands. All of this has given rise to a thriving spice industry, and the wealth it brings has allowed our nation to prosper while maintaining its neutrality. So you trade your spices? Seems rather more complicated than trading in ether. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? In the beginning, this land was no more than refuge for me. But now it is my home, and the people of Radzat Han, my beloved children. Together, we build this vibrant nation. And not would please me more than to show it to my sister one day. Vibrant. Rubicante said the same when he described this world. A reminder of all that has been stolen from us. What many who remember doubtless yearn to take back. Our home is a lost cause. Our only choice to begin anew. In this world, where we may reclaim our mortality. Claim their mortality. Nonetheless, it's wrong to damn another to save yourself. As I told Rubicante, as I found myself moved to speak, I still do not understand what made me feel this way. Nor what compels you mortals to help one another. But I hope to someday. We too hope that you will find the answers you seek. What is going on? What? What's happening? Uh huh. -huh. Compliments of Mistress Zero, the Sartrap's honored guest. We are serving a special curry for anyone who wishes to partake. But be warned, it is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> oh, by all means, I'd welcome the challenge. Holy uh, shit. Sisters have mercy. The smell alone is. <laughs> <laughs> it burns! It burns! <laughs> <laughs> to better maintain the facade, the alchemist ensured that my vessel was capable of consuming food. However, I fear Zero's curry would test the limits of their design. for the delay please relax and enjoy your meal relax i don't have time for that i've been waiting for this come let's replenish our ether <laughs> she's so excited <laughs> Shit, everyone's dead. <laughs> I trust you have eaten your fill. I shall have Marid prepare a meal for us to take to Estinian. I suspect he too is overdue a replenishment. Oh, are you? Bashan, you fucking with him? <laughs> By this hour, he will have retired to his chambers at Magaduta. Come, let us pay him a visit.
Oh man, everyone got wiped out. <laughs> There's one chat sitting over there. I think he can handle it. There's one single chat that was sitting in the middle of the restaurant. This guy. This guy's badass, he survived it. He survived it. Spicy circulation. XX12? What does that mean? Be forged by the flames of a truly challenging curry. <laughs> Athenian's chambers. Estinian, are you there? We've brought something for you. I enter. Why does he sound so angsty? Oh, that again is Estinian, so what am I talking about? <sighs> oh. <sighs> oh, all the girls are gonna thirst. <sighs> oh, this is a thirst trap. Yep. Yep. Thirst trap. Oh, they know what they're doing. From the Mehane. I thought you might enjoy it. Masala, eh? I prefer my squid dried. But I'm sure it won't disappoint. My thanks. Oh, uh, they know what they're doing. This fan service. <laughs> Idle as I am in our sorceress's absence, I see. I can't offer much in the way of entertainment, but make yourselves comfortable. <laughs> Zero, what are you looking at? Shall we disrobe as well? <laughs> no, no. We simply caught our friend unprepared. He will make himself presentable at once. I am sure. Zero, what the hell, man? <laughs> Ooh. Ah, they're back. Lost. We've been looking for you. Updates. My friends, tell me, were you able to devise a way to return to the 13th? I believe so. It required a visit to the moon, where I took the opportunity to enlist Orionje's assistance. <laughs> Hello there. Ishtola hath told me all. I should be glad to help you free Ashdaya and put an end to Golbez's dark plot. Ah, uh, Shakespeare, good to hear you. Welcome back. If Rubicante spoke true, both Golbez and Ashdaya are on the moon of the 13th. Unlike here in the source, however, we have no means of making the journey from the surface of the star itself. The technology simply does not exist. Therefore, I propose that we employ a gate to deliver us directly to our destination. Is such a feat possible? In theory, having once been a single hole, the source and its reflections share striking similarities in geography. And according to a certain someone who unceremoniously whisked us away to the first, <laughs> the same locations across the worlds are intrinsically bound. Uh, Rahatia. All of which is to say, were we to pass through a gate on the source's moon, it should lead us to the moon of the 13th. Of course, 
There is the risk of Voidsent gaining entry to our world. Thus did I decide to seek Orionje's counsel. Hmm. Both the Watcher and the Loperitz are aware of our proposed endeavor. While they are yet deliberating precautionary measures, they have pledged their full cooperation. You've been busy. I presume you've also found a way to open this gate. Be it in Radzat Han or Shalian, scholars have long cast their gaze unto the endless dark of the void. And so, with Harnish insights to augment our knowledge, we have indeed conceived of a promising plan to pierce the veil. A plan I am confident will succeed, precisely because the moon is our stage. The preparations will be extensive, and we will require vast quantities of ether. After all, our gate must be large enough to accommodate another great worm. Mm -hmm. My proposal entails delivering copious amounts of ether to the Tower of Babel in Garlemald. As you will recall, Fan Daniel used the structure to destroy the brands imprisoning Zodiac, and we, in like manner, will use it to channel ether to the moon, and thereby open our gate. I see. Then we shall need someone on the moon for the necessary rituals. Just so, Your Excellency. I intend to head back anon for that very purpose, as well as to help devise our strategy to deal with invading Voidsent. Along with our lunar allies, we will once again require the assistance of your alchemists, Nidana not least of all. May I trouble you to serve as their escort? Fine by me. The room was beginning to feel constraining. For my part, I shall oversee the requisite tasks on the star. Might I prevail upon you for your assistance? If all are in agreement, then let us set to work. We'll open our gate, and we will stop Golbez. Going ham. Hmm.
procure substantial aether delivered to the Tower of Babel. Okay. Where are we going to find that much ether? The Ceruleum? I mean... Ceruleum from Lapis Lamanis? Manan Mananis... I'm guessing we're probably going to use the Cerulean from that place. Right. <clears throat> oh! Hello! Oh my gosh! I didn't realize she was over here! Approaching this as students of Baldassian. Okay. Nice to see the politics of this world is um, consistent. Uh, so we'll be approaching Cryo. Came here was to deliver his sire's scales. Since when did he deliver Megat Somer's scales? Am I missing some law here? Huh. There's a visitor in there with Cryo? I wonder who she's talking to. Ah. Edit. Edit. Well now, if it isn't two of my dearest friends. As for the other two, I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Oh yeah, she has not met. Zero and... Not in this vessel, perhaps. Tis I, Vashan. Though, you are welcome to call me Vritra, if you prefer. Pay me no mind. I merely accompany them. I pray you forgive us our intrusion. If you are occupied, we shall call again anon. It's quite all right. We've just finished swapping all our secrets anyway. Mm-hmm. Erinfil occasionally comes and shares the latest Gleaner gossip, you see. Erin! 
エレン戦い戦い<笑> From forgotten ruins to mysterious relics, if there's aught that might be of interest to the students, he kindly lets us know. Alas, I must soon depart on an expedition. As I may be away for an extended period, I wish to give Kryle fair warning. Hence my visit today. I see. There are specimens that want for procuring, I presume? No, no, it isn't guilt ship business, but rather. Mm -hmm. A homecoming. Mm. You're going home? But enough about me. You have business too, yes? And I'm in the way. Far from it. As a matter of fact, we should be grateful if you could stay and share your knowledge of the nearby isles with us. We seek a means to travel to the void. There, a man named Golbez plots to invade our world. A man who even now holds my sister hostage. <laughs> to that end, we require a great quantity of ether which we understand may be had on the Isle of Harm. We came in the hope of exploring how it might best be procured. An invasion from the 13th? Must the stakes always be so dramatic? You have a knack for finding trouble. Mm-hmm. If gleaners collected world-ending crises, you could make quite a name for yourself in our profession. Ha ha. It's true the Isle of Ham is a veritable font of ether, but as it's under the forum's direct jurisdiction, only a privileged few get to set foot there. I myself haven't. So if we want to help ourselves to the Isle's ether, we'll need to secure the forum's permission. Very well. The students of Baldessian recognize your endeavors as combating a grave threat to the world. As representative, I hereby pledge our full assistance. Now that it's official, you may leave the politics and paperwork to me. Yay! Our operations remain small, <laughs> but we shouldn't meet any undue resistance. We are truly grateful. If I may. According to the original plan for the Exodus, Ether collected from the Isle of Harm was to power the Ark. Mm -hmm. Art thou perchance familiar with the logistics of this endeavor? I don't know anything about that, I'm afraid. Nor do I think any cleaner would. You might have better luck asking someone involved with the Ark's construction. Margaret, for instance. She's a researcher in Charlie and Hamlet. I met with her for a job recently, and she mentioned working on the Ragnarok's propulsion system. You could do worse than to seek her out while awaiting the forum's verdict. We may well do just that. Our gratitude for thine advice. And may this threat be but a memory upon thy return. <laughs> You're quite welcome. Now then, if you'll excuse me. I best start drafting our petition. Go on and find your researcher. I'll contact you as soon as we've made progress. Let us leave matters here to Mistress Kryle and hie ourselves to Labyrinthos.
Right then, time to put our best foot forward. Oh. <laughs> A pity you can't tidy yourself. I should have had Ishtola enchant you when I had the chance. And what have we here? Mm -hmm. Later, Kryle. Later. You've work to do. What is that? That looks important. That looks important. Maybe you should read it first. Alright. Charlian Hamlet. Here we go. Here we are. Is that a Moogle? Oh, no, that's someone else's pet. Nah. <clears throat> First person Orionji asks, our, but our target immediately told us where to go. Is there a place where you do not have allies? <laughs> I think I vaguely remember this person. Special tanks to store Aether. Hmm. Rival even crystals for etheric capacity. Oh wow. Oh shit, that could be used to make a bomb, an Aether bomb. Oh no! Oh no! Just like Theramore all over again. This woman is um a bit cuckoo. Coco for Coco Puffs. Yo, oh, what happened to the Ether Tanks? Oh no. Why? But she can't remember. <laughs> An outfit that screams I've been on vacation and you haven't. Doesn't know what the vacation is. Oh, that does look like a vacation outfit. <laughs> this guy's been to Hawaii. Base that launch our. Oh, it's him. I remember him. He doesn't know anything about Aether tanks. Oh wait, he does! He made them!
so he's been on a holiday ever since we saved the world. <laughs> <laughs> Master Fortuno and call out Montershane. One condition. Want us to go for beast control? Okay. You do not underestimate the value of what you desire. You know, I always imagine Montashane to be um Sean Connery. Nay, we simply owe the students of Baldashian and their esteemed collaboration a debt of gratitude. And we should we felt that Expediting your request was a suitable way to repay it. Forum is like LSA. They want to help others simply because they want to. <laughs> sure. I don't think you realize that was LSA's dad. Oh, this person's glamour is so cute. This guy is standing on top of annoying. Bound for the Isle of Harm. You look like the ones Master Fortuno told me to expect. If you're ready to depart, then so am I. Just say the word. Is something the matter? I did recruit one other to our party, but he is late to arrive. Rahatia. Pretty sure it's Rahatia. Oh, it's Thancred! <laughs> Forgive me my delay. Late as always, you. Tis good to see you. You dipshit, you're always late. If it isn't Varshan, they do grow up so quickly. Urianje tells me we have a host of exciting new tribulations to face. Mm -hmm. And you must be Zero. I've heard all about your daring do in Garlemald. A pleasure. Flirting with her already? Tip. Apart from strengthening our company with his redoubtable skill at arms, Thancred may also serve as a mentor in those matters that trouble thee. What? Socialism? Uh, socializing? I speak of the intangible forces which bring souls together. Thancred is possessed of experience both unique and insightful that I am sure he would gladly share with thee. 
Wait, no. Needs to but ask. Oh, Andre, are you are you matchmaking? No, no, I will not allow this. No. Oriange, you wingman. But don't wingman Tancred. Tancred's a douche. Tancred's a douche. I've not forgiven him for Ifrit. Oh, whoa, dungeon. That's a lot faster than I thought it would be. Okay. Social struggles aside. <laughs> That does not strike me in the man. <laughs> yes, yes, you're right, Zero. He is not the mentoring sort. Don't get close to that bastard. He's a douche. He's a douche. Yeah, let's go with this then. He's a douche! Ooh. Ooh, the music is nice. Oh, so cute! Oh, the polar bears are so cute! Wow. We've just gone to the Arctic. Oh! Oh my god, that music! Oh, oh so good! Just the sound settings. I think uh sound effect go lower than BGM 65 and bit sound performance master volume. Yeah, I think this is alright. Oh the music is so good! I need a question roll. Oh, I need a question roll for this, man. This is so nice.
guessing we should be approaching the first boss pretty soon. Is that it looks adorable? <laughs> Let's do such a stupid face. Okay, body slam. There's debris on the floor. Aha. Small ones explode first. We got it. Poor guy, he looks so adorable. What is this? Ooh. Ooh. Man, this this entire place reminds me of the Witcher 3, man. Mobs are pretty thick. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
bum 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 da 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 bum 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 Mopsa, thick. Oh wow, this is a it's still infected bear. Pretty small. This is body bear. It's really very small.
Ooh. So this is why there's so much ether on this island. Another one of those. Yeah. That looks like a lotus formation. I got zero is doing less damage than Urionji. There's less threat than Urionji. Huh. Is this There's something in the water? It's a kraken. Oh wow! Kraken that lives in mana, in ether infused water. Octom mammoth.
Ooh, those are big AOEs. I don't think it's dead. Huh. It's still alive. <laughs> Had it been a squid where I'd taken some for Estinian. <laughs> That's it. Nope, that's not it. You go. Ah. Much obliged for clearing the way. We'll get to work at once. Filling these up will take a good while. I appreciate it if you stood watch till we finished. I ain't getting chewed to chum by some ether bloated bugger. This guy's Australian. <laughs> oh god, he's Australian. Oh, by the by. Where were you planning on putting these to use? We well, could deliver them by airship, see? Provided that ain't too far. We would need them transported to Galimon, to the Tower of Babel. Ah, that's a long old journey. Too long for a direct flight. Tell you what, we'll send them over with the scheduled shipment of provisions headed that way. I'll make the arrangements as soon as we get back. Save some poor chocobos having to drag this lot through the snow. You have our thanks. We shall not forget your generosity. Oh, that's efficient. That's very efficient. Holy shit.
Everything seems to be proceeding apace. I dare say you would have been fine without me. Eh. Why would you say such a thing? You were not bound by contract or the threat of force. And you gain no advantage by devaluing your own contribution. <laughs> Yet you must be bound by something to speak thus. What is it? What binds me? Hmm. A belief, I suppose. Born of our shared struggles. No matter where my comrades go, I have faith they will be fine. For I know that they will walk their chosen path as surely as I walk mine. I trust them, in short. Trite though it may sound. Thinking of Reen? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Trust. I remember the word. How long has it been since last I used it? It had no place in my dealings. Not with other void scent, and certainly not with Xenos. Not even in the time before darkness engulfed the world. Full often did memoriates betray their own, corrupted by the very power they wielded. You could trust no one but yourself. Alone we fought, and alone we fell. I wouldn't know how to trust. Is there some trick to it? <laughs> Just stay close to this one. You'll learn in no time. Thank you. I absolutely fine. I confess I thought thou mightst have more words of counsel to offer. Mm. Oh, she'll soon get the hang of it, even without my help. After our work here is done, I'll see myself back to the shadows. But before that, I take it you've heard as well. But what? Indeed. The client seeketh Archons. And twould seem our extensive travels and neutrality make us prime candidates. Client? What are you two up to? Well, assuming we take on the request, I suspect I'll be stuck with you again. Don't let me down, hmm? What are these two up to? <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. Bio break.
Battery 40%. All right. Okay. Are you think Grit? Edition Commander Lucia. Oh, hello. Here we are again. Emotional impact. Hmm. So activating the tower caused panic among the Galleon population. Okay, that makes sense. Speak with Alphano and Alice say. They help us convince the Galleon people. Pouring a drink. Okay. All right. 
right, Julius? Senecus Imperialis. Peppers then, okay. So where do I go? Tertium. I'll stay here and talk to people here. Scared they will be enthralled by the tower. Can't seem to convince them. That's not good. This guy is convinced. None of them remember. I remember this girl. Imperial Palace was once the pride of the... Tower of Babel was the Imperial Palace, yeah. Occupied people. So, hmm. The distrust makes sense. The Isobat contingent is an occupying force from Eorzea. The level of trust is not there. and Matthias. Tower is a manifestation of Galleon ingenuity and authority. It was once the abode of the Imperial family. Tremendous cultural significance. Asserting natural sovereignty.
We're gonna make some demands of us. Uh. Shan is still quite the politician. Primus. Senatus. This is another station. I of crates. Provided by the Alliance. Okay. Arrow of Cerulean. So they've been excavating cerulean from Lapis Manalis. Huh. Where is Vashan? There he is. So do they wish us to surrender the Imperial Palace?
choose to eliminate the machine, huh? Oh. Yeah, but they're not under your control right now. Terms does he tend to propose? Trade agreement between Razad Han and the people of Galamode. to them a sense of agency they have been forced to rely on charity so trade agreement would help them out yeah that's very wise we establish trade rebuild an economy trade magic tech and use of the tower for resources. Normalizing trade relations, normalizing relations, yeah.
Let the negotiations begin. This rate, there might be a new civil war. Praise the sisters, you are safe. Don't think I'm indebted to you. I never asked for your help. You love Garlemald dearly, Lord Metius. That much is plain. But you're not alone in that. We all mourn what has become of our homeland bristle at having to rely upon outsiders simply to survive the cold. Even now, I struggle with fear and uncertainty. Day after day, I ask myself, what is right? Where do we go from here? I've yet to find the answers. But I won't stop looking nonetheless. And I won't avert my gaze from our grim reality. Is there hope for us? Ah. 
I. So long as we live. Garlemald lies in ruins, but the bonds between us will never be broken. We are the chain that connects generations past and future. You and I, it's links. Help us, Lord Metius, for all we have been and for what we may yet become. Please. <laughs> to be lectured by the young man. It ill becomes a man of my station. I will rejoin the talks at Tertium. Might I trouble you to escort me? Ere we part, I apologize for my discourtesy. I owe you my life, and I thank you. Euless, wait. I'd like a word. With you as well. I'm to stay close, after all. Worry not, we shall see the Magistrate safely back to Tertium. What is it? You bound that man with trust, didn't you? That's why he did not require coercion to return. <laughs> uh, shall we walk, perhaps? Chilly, standing around here. So that's how Zero came to join you. Still, I'm not sure I'm qualified to explain something like trust. I wouldn't describe myself as a sociable person. Before all this, any free time I had, I spent looking after my brother and sister. As for the Magistrate, I only told him what's been on my mind of late. But I wouldn't have done so, I think, if it weren't for the Twins' influence. <laughs> Trust is infectious, in a manner of speaking. When someone believes in you, it makes you want to believe in them, in others, in yourself. Perhaps it's because the Magistrate felt that earnestness that he gave us a chance. As I did, after I was caught trying to steal provisions from the enemy. Trust comes easy in such company. Little wonder my world is devoid of it. No one trusts in you, and so you trust in no one. And round the wheel turns. During the Contra Memoria, we had already come to judge one another based on strength and usefulness. You either used or were used. Those who rejected this rule didn't survive. My mother wanted to save the world, to fulfill the hopes of Memoriad's good and true. After she died, I carried on her mission alone. Alone? Didn't you have anyone to help you? Almost. Two men tried just the once. A 
swordsman and a mage, whom I met when passing through a village. They had saved the people there from corrupted memoriates. When they learned our enemies were the same, they seemed heartened. They claimed to be soldiers of a kingdom called Baron, and were traveling the realm in search for means to end the Contra Memoria. They invited me to join them. I refused. How could I not, having learned the lessons of my world? Those who would work with others always have their own motives. I would not place myself at their mercy. I would not be forced to submit. I expected some manner of outburst, some show of frustration at having failed to deceive me. But they simply watched me walk away. I didn't know what to make of it then, but now... Perhaps they shared a bond of trust. Perhaps they were the last ones left who dared. Perhaps they hoped I was like them, too. Perhaps it was just an offer, and nothing more. I continued fighting alone. But ultimately, I was undone. Overwhelmed by enemies that had banded together. I was cold, in pain, wishing desperately that someone would save me. And as I lay there in solitude, I felt it happen. The breaking of our world. Darkness washed over me, and I was swept into the rift. When I finally managed to return, it was to a world forever transformed. My home, now filled with abominations. I had a chance to learn about trust, and forsook it. I never had the power to save my home single-handed. I should have accepted their invitation. Had I joined them as I've joined you, I might not have had to face the end of the world alone. But it's all history now. No amount of reflection or regret will change our present reality. Whatever may have happened in the past, you're still here, Zero. Alive. So long as you're alive, there will always be hope no matter how bad things get. What you couldn't do yesterday, you might still do today. Think about it. It's plain that you've forged bonds with those around you. If you didn't feel that in some sense, would you have risked your life as you did for a meager ration of boots? I trust you, too, for what it's worth. Here it is again. The fire that burned in my breast when you came to my rescue. 
the urge to weep, so there is no sorrow. <laughs> if this is trust, then what must I do? How do I answer it? However you like. Give me your hand. It's not something you do constantly, mine. A friend is a friend regardless. A friend? So that's what it means. Someone you trust. <laughs> My best friend. to the trade agreement with the people of Razad Han. Radzat Han holds Galleon, technology and ingenuity at the highest esteem. It is my hope through this agreement our people enjoy mutually beneficial relationships for years to come.
Let us take a moment to review matters as they stand. Having procured sufficient stores of ether, we may now channel the requisite energy unto the moon via the Tower of Babel. Our work on the star is complete. However, we have yet to receive word from Ishtola as to the state of the lunar preparations. A ritual to open the gate? and measures to forestall a void sent invasion. Neither task is simple nor quickly completed. She would doubtless benefit from our assistance. The very thing I was about to propose. Let us join her above and lend what aid we may. Ere we set forth, however, Ishtola did bid me relay a message to thee. As thou art well aware, a key objective of our mission is the extraction of thy sister Ashdaya from the void. Held captive for millennia and divested of an eye, she is like to be severely weakened. To make good her escape, she shall require aid. Aid that is best provided by a fellow Great Worm. You would have me go in my true form. Very well. Like our sire, we Great Worms are capable of traversing the Great Expanse. The journey will take some time, but I shall take myself to the moon. To begin with, I shall return this vessel to Radzad Han, that I may have both my eyes. And until such time as we find Ashdaya, I will entrust her eye to your keeping. We shall contact you via Link Pearl once all is in place on the moon. You need but follow Ishtola's instructions. Understood. We'll be ready. Take care, Zero. It will be the briefest of homecomings. I'll be back before you know it. In mare elementorum, then. Go well.
I took the liberty of informing Ishtola of our arrival. She and her entourage should be here momentarily. Ah, die Dana ist hier. Forgive me. I'd hoped to have everything in order sooner. My thanks for the extra hands. <laughs> Alfino and Alice stand ready at the Tower of Babel. Vritra is also en route. Excellent. You've done well, all of you. For my part, I've managed to prepare the ritual with help from the Watcher. All that remains is to channel the ether from below. This should, I pray, open a gate leading to the moon of the 13th. May I just say how excited we are to be a part of this grand undertaking. The development of the artificial atomos was one thing, but this is an opportunity like no other. Ishtola even managed to get a loan of elegant treatises on voids and summoning from the prized collection of the Sons of St. Koinak. The regulating void gates provided us with many a useful insight for our work, let me tell you. I asked a favor of Grahatir when we were comparing notes on cross-rift travel. Given his credentials, I was confident he wouldn't be denied. <laughs> The knowledge of our forebears has brought us far, as has our own. And with our knowledge and resources, we shall construct a void sent containment seal on a heretofore unseen scale. Containment seal? Then thou wouldst make use of. I. A tried and tested means of holding dark entities at bay is readily available here. It would be remiss of us not to employ oh, it. Oh, Zodiac Seal. We shall reforge the brands that Xenos and Fan Daniel destroyed. That makes sense. That which held even Zodiac shall more than suffice for void scent of any persuasion. The Watcher is already hard at work tending to the most critical parts of the brand's restoration. There are, however, a number of concerning factors that remain. With your help, I'm sure we can resolve them. Time is of the essence, so I suggest we continue this discussion as we make our way to the brands. Punch you allow lesser voids and sleep. Alright. So Lobrits with the second line of defense.
<laughs> what are these things? <laughs> There's never met Lopritz. Combat supporters, they're getting their robots to help. Welcome contribution. Thine initiative never ceaseth to amaze. Oh, stop! You're making me blush! <laughs> Even now, as we pursue new dreams, aiding the people of Atheris remains our greatest joy. So you can count on us ever and always. We deployed these supporters to patrol the moon and keep it safe. They've never tussled with Void Scent before, but with sufficient data, they ought to hold their own against the ghastly fiends. Practical, tactical data acquired in the moment, and who better to give the supporters an educational thrashing than the champion of a Atheris? No, oh, you want me to kick your ass? I believe I would make a better instructor. Oh, she is Void Scent after all. Not only have I fought Void Scent, I am one. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there, engage. <laughs> Sleeping engage. wage. Engage. Engage. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive our comrades' enthusiasm. May I inquire as to how long the repairs will take? On an ordinary day, I'd say no less than five carrots briskly consumed. But if you were to provide us with encouragement. Uh huh? We just might <laughs> be able to do it in two. <laughs> Um, what do you want me to do? This, I leave to you. Already. <laughs>
Can you hear me? We've just finished restoring the brands. That's fast. Let us reconvene once you've finished tending to matters there. The culmination of our efforts is nigh. Apologies for the wait. The preparations here are finally complete. Excellent. The Tower 2 is activated. But give the word and we will begin channeling the ether. Very well then. Make it so. The moment of truth. Commence your invocations. It is time to open our gate. Success. The gate is open and the seal appears to be in place. Let's see how well it holds.
caught an enormous gate. Lord Gomez will be eager to hear of this. I dare say the seal doth serve its purpose. No, why don't we call Respel Girl over as well? Two dragons are better than one. Indeed, just this moment, a void scent emerged from the gate, by which we may safely assume it leads to the 13th. It's incredible, Ishtola. Truly incredible. Oh, what an honor it is to have been part of this historic achievement. A part is an understatement. None of this would have been possible without you and yours. Our success has also served to solidify our understanding of cross-rift travel. The Asians rejoined reflections to the source by instigating elemental imbalances. These imbalances weakened the barrier between realities, causing the ether of a reflection to flood the source. But why is it that reflections are predisposed to rejoin the source? Why have they never merged with one another? Thou art suggesting there is a unique property inherent to the source, one responsible for such an outcome. I am. Tis my conclusion that, as the point of origin for the reflections, the source has an innate pull over them. Heidelin, I believe, sought to suppress that pull, which is why she was created with the power of light, of stasis, Meanwhile, the power of darkness, of activity, reigns in the void. Heidelin's influence would naturally be weaker, and this manifested in the form of planar fissures. Working with this hypothesis, I set my sights upon where the pull was assessed to be strongest, and through our combined efforts, we succeeded in opening a gate to the void. Now, I must stress, it was because we sought the void that we succeeded. Pleased though I am to have my theory proven, the secrets of travel to other reflections still elude us. Even so, in the reality that lies beyond the eighth umbral calamity, there are those who found a way to reach the first. I will not rest until I do the same. One step closer to fulfilling your dream, eh? Just a step. Many more remain to be taken. Which further motivates me to forestall a void sent invasion. So come, let us set forth to find Ashdaya and put an end to Golbez's plot. As we did discuss prior, I shall see the alchemists safely home, then together with the Loperitz, maintain vigil over the gate. May the sisters watch over and keep you safe.
Jiro be trapped by our own seal? This is the moon of the 13th. Why is it red? It is. Ever since the flood, it has been a sanguinary orb in the sky. No void scent. A rather more subdued reception than I had anticipated. But unsurprising, given how jealously Golbez conceals the location of his domain. Still, we must remain on guard. One of his minions came through the gate, after all, and more may lie in wait. I do not sense my sister. Where could she be? Where? Steady, Vritra. We've barely arrived. Let us explore our surrounds before drawing conclusions. Yes. Thou art right. I shall survey the moon from above. The ground. I leave to you all. No signs of a watcher or any lobberids. The idol never existed or was swallowed up by darkness. Oh, that's so sad if that happened. What's that down there? Oh, is that his castle? Reminds me a bit of Pandemonium.
The chasm has caught your attention as well. Where Zodiac would There's be. some manner of structure below. Worth a look, wouldn't you say? I too sense something here. This pit much resembles the cradle of darkness on our moon, where Zodiac was once imprisoned. Mm -hmm. If this place serves the same function, then a fragment of his power must have been sealed in the depths. Strange, though. When Zodiac perished in the Source, I presumed that every aspect of him was thus unmade, and his power scattered. But it's unmistakable. The darkness that permeates this abyss. Could a trace of him yet remain? Or is it something else? Gobes is thrown. Where's Gobes? Trusted with Ajdaya's eye, were you not? We need to kill Golbez first. So this is indeed Golbez's domain.
This great worm intent to remain a captive meal for all eternity, not daring to test her chains. into this spot near and dear to our enemy's heart? Did you find something? Crystal of light? Oh no no no. A memoria. Memoria, yeah. Ooh, echo vision. It's been a while. Gobes is the mage. No, 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 no. Gobes is the warrior. You have lied, pillaged, and murdered. Have you anything to say in your defense? <laughs> no. Every one of them got what they deserved. Trusting fools. 
Like you would be heroes. Aye. You do well to keep a close eye on each other. But it always ends the same way. A knife in the back. And better to have the handle towards your hand. You'll see. Oh, yes. You will. May your soul find salvation. I can't bring myself to pray for the unrepentant. You're a nobler man than I. Come now, we are all shaped by these dark times. More than we care to admit. I used to believe that had these men known peace and plenty, they would not have been consumed by mistrust and avarice. Victims of the Contra Memoria, then, like so many others. But we will end it. Thank you. I shudder to imagine what might have happened if you hadn't dealt with the Dark Ones. Oh, zero. Oh, her? She's like you, I hear. Hunts memoriates taken by darkness. Well, well. A kindred spirit. Perhaps we will finally have a new comrade. Is that Swordsman Rubicante? No. I've no interest in working with others, much less someone who looks as suspicious as you. If there's nothing else, I'll be on my way. Even when we share the same goal, we can't overcome the mistrust. Such is the way of things, the wisdom of our era. Only a precious few memories remain who cling to the light that we could have won her over. We'll make do, old friend. We have accomplished much already, and another person may well have been more of a hindrance than help. Now then, our work here is finished. His Majesty has summoned us, so let us not delay. To Baron. Had another vision of the past, did you? What? I was in it. them. The pair I met in that village. Which means the one sealed in this memoria is... So, you have come. You, who would oppose our crusade. Tranquil.
It is impressive enough that you have managed to retain your mortal form. But to remember your past besides... But that is of no moment. You are the Memoriat who vanquished my minions. Correct. And what if I am? Then... I would bid you join me. As a child of our world and slave to the wheel, fight with me for the salvation of all our souls. Fight with you? More like fight as your pawn. It isn't me you want, but my power. And if I don't obey, you'll bind me like you bound that dragon. But no more. I refuse to be bound ever again. I fight only for myself and for those in whom I trust. My friends. Mm. I see. A pity. It is for the dragon that you have come, yes? When first you appeared, I thought simply to remove a threat to our plan. Never did I imagine that you would reach this place and gift me a golden opportunity. As it has been imprisoned, this dragon has grown feeble and weak, its spirit extinguished. Your coming has served to rekindle her forgotten hope. Her yearning to be free, to return home. That is the key to our deliverance. Huh? Oh no! The darkness is ravaging her. She's becoming a void scent. Shadow Dragon and obey. Was that? Whoosh. Keep our guests occupied. Should have brought the rest of Elga as well.
before darkness swallowed the world, I fought tirelessly in a war without end. The experience taught me to discern the strong, that dragon, and you. Rest assured, I need no invitation. Are you playing at this time of the day? Five minutes, one more DPS. Definitely get it.
Come on, one more DPS, let's go. There we go. Let's do this. from beyond the rift. If you would oppose our crusade, then come. But know that none shall deny us salvation. Doesn't seem like an efficient way to use a sword and a dragon.
Raging Gale to rend you asunder. Also, thank. There we go. Got him. My Ooh. power. Even my blade. So this is the limit of my defiance.
Are you all right? What's happening? <laughs> at last, the moment is at hand. What has he done? You may have bested me, but not quickly enough. Too late will you look to the chasm. You've won the battle, but I win the war. made manifest once abided in the depths of this abyss until one day it dispersed in a haze of ether in the absence of the great flow that ether has nowhere to return and so it has coalesced giving rise to a mighty void scent now feast Feast upon this dragon and its ardent longing for home with it. No! So, yeah. of ancient and newborn an entity without equal shall emerge one who shall tear down the barrier between worlds upon you who shall deliver us from eternal damnation I bestow the name of a hero of Eld <coughs> Seromus awaken No matter how powerful, a void scent can be sealed in memoria. scales may not hold not against a void scent born of zodiac's ether
I uh, thought this story arc would end on this pack. Shit. We defeated the void, uh, the cloud of darkness. We should be able to defeat Zeromus with. the same effort. I need to take a piss. So close yet so far. Do you remember Ciriato and Farfarello? The cowardly pair of void scent that dwelled in my domain. Ciriato devoured Farfarello, and in so doing, he inherited an all consuming fear. Of Barbariccia. For as you know, when a void scent is devoured, it doesn't simply cease to be. Its soul persists within the devourer, and when a void scent dies, all the souls that harbored may break free to become individual entities once more. That is to say, by defeating Zeromus, we may yet save Ashdaya. And to make certain that we do, we must remind her of who she is. When the time comes, you must call to her. Call with all your being.
then it's settled. Our objective is to defeat Zeromus. While it is unsettling that a void scent could be born of Zodiac's ether, its very nature may render it susceptible to the brands that once contained him. Did Uriange have aught to say? I see. If the seal may not hold for long, then haste is paramount. Couldn't we just let it come to the source and strike it down here? Doing so would consign Ajdaya's soul to the ethereal sea. Any attempt to ensure her survival demands that we deal with Zeromus in the 13th. I could barely go near it. Never mind land a blow. So thick was the Shroud of Darkness. How do you propose we fight such a foe? Simple. Against impenetrable darkness, we must wield resplendent light. The first. And it just so happens, there is a world replete with light. Hmm. The question of how we will harness that light, you may leave to me. With our recent discoveries and proven techniques, as well as the aid of comrades near and far, I have faith that we will find a way. Not only if I begin my work at once. Rest up while you can, for there will be much to do when I return. <coughs> it wouldn't do to be idle while our esteemed sorceress labors tirelessly. I shall be training if you have need of me. Wait. Allow me to join you. I must become stronger for what lies ahead. <laughs> Fine by me. Come on then. I shall not pass my time wallowing in despair. Using my vessel, I shall attend what preparations I may. Zeromus is risen, but not yet at full strength. It will take time before the Fiend is able to breach the Veil. But what is another moment on this long journey I have endured? It remains as fresh as if it were yesterday. Old friend, the memory of your passing and the pain. So he took up his friend's arm. As I promised you then, I promise you now, they shall sing of Golbez. The hero who shattered the wheel and brought salvation to the world. Lights embrace to shadows deep, a 
scroll to save and off to keep. Okay, so that's MSQ. Let's head to Old Charlingen. That's probably where I'll find EX. And after I should get EX, let's unlock Pandemonium. for his crusade was the salvation of his brethren. Thus did he pervert Ashraya's yearning to return home into a force capable of breaking down the barriers between worlds. For one that speaks of deliverance, conducting a plot that would condemn the soul of another world to death rings decidedly unheroic. Nevertheless, I feel inspired with a new verse. What could have driven him to such ends, to sacrifice the very souls he hoped to save, to give rise to an entity born of such sorrows such as Zeromus? He is worthy of contempt for his deeds, of that there is no doubt. Yet, all was done for the salvation of his people. One cannot help but be drawn to such a tale.
so the professor is in <coughs> an entire sector of Azizla has been teleported elsewhere. Elegant facilities reconstituted as the halls of pandemonium. So this is not the pandemonium that Huh? Is this a replica? Spotted clawing forth from its depth. It's trying to consume the afterlife.
<laughs> All right. What is that thing? My feast must not end. My feast must not be interrupted. Kokitos. Ooh, the music is a banger. spell. the summoner. What's that spell called? The global one? Shit.
I'll leave it to the Ninkara LB. Athena? How are you here? Born. Did she take over Professor Claudian's body? Grasping Godhood. La Brea and Eric Cantonos. La Brea's crystal.
they have lived through the final days, yeah. How did she know your history with me? She observed event within Pandemonium. Mm -hmm. Gods can create souls at will. site. Themis made by Athena, an illusion built for memory.
I feel terrible if I have to trounce a little bit again. <laughs> New vessel to replace Arakintos. What the hell was that? Some devil may cry boss right there.
and I'm back. <clears throat> That's fast. That's really fast. Didn't expect the queue to pop so quickly. <clears throat> Let's do this.
Wow, this boss is some holy shit. Stay where you are. Oh man, this boss on Savage is gonna be monster, holy crap. Tangled morsel awaiting death.
LB required over there, or do we have to go to the side? Ask for waiting. Okay, the bard is ready.
Oh, we lost both healers and a red mate.
And that boss was hot. For normal rate, that was hot. What is this? Looks like a warding scale.
she imbued pandemonium itself with her soul, breathed life into a dead which should never have lived. The heart of Sabik. <clears throat> Part of Sabik was created by Athena. Predates Pandemonium's construction. So the first aura site. Magnifies the desire of those who comes in contact with it. The Habria chose to help. So that's how Lahabria found the heart of Sabik. Was the crystal last sighted? Bring my fight with Ultima Weapon. Triumph but failed to recover the heart. Lahabria took it back.
Let's see how fast it pops this time. Let's see if I'm able to um send my squadron out before the Q pops. Two more DPS. I don't have much time. Oh man, come on. Convocation Chamber. I suppose I have Athena to thank for this incarnation. His voice is so low. <laughs> I have long considered how I might stand against you. I admit. In transformation, I present to you my truth. I am in Whoa! Three monks? <laughs> Three monks, one samurai. Good to know.
There we go. Yeah. There we go. Good fight. Good fight. Athena's magics magnified the desire of their victims at the expense of all else. Never guess what desire of mine she could exploit. From the moment we met, I've made plain my interest in you. My desire to understand your nature. I suppose that curiosity extended to how each of us 
would fail in a matter of strength. What's happening? Ah, oh, he's free! Work isn't over yet. Perhaps the fringe strands of my being and tied them together with your own. We're here on borrowed time. Elidibus, the emissary, it falls upon me to judge Athena. Those who would disrupt our carefully maintained balance to fulfill her own desires. I swear I will not waver in this duty. Those doors! Sell that tower. She possesses a vessel that may serve the creation of a god. A man by the name of Claudian. By twist of fate, his body proved ideal for Athena's purpose. Creation of a person requires not just a body, soul, or memory, but all three. We are made from the memories of our ancient counterparts, etched upon drifting souls, given form, through the infusion of ether. We lack a physical body, yet you can see and feel us all the same. Athena is different. She has carved her memory into Claudian's soul, while it was still within her body, thus made both her own. Even she is prone to error. After the Sundering beings became more fragile in both body and soul, this difference prevents Athena from realizing the full extent of her desires. So that's why she turned her sight towards Tian. His uncommon strength rivals even the mightiest of our age. In scrutinizing his feats in battle, Athena aims to, to deduce the secrets of Tian's prowess, use it to fortify her own vessel. Only then will the culmination of her research be at hand. Let me simply remove Athena's body from Claudian's, uh, Athena's soul. Yeah. Adios task, but not impossible. 
Athena can inscribe herself upon another soul, but she cannot erase its will. If we awaken Claudian's spirit to the reality of his bondage, he might be compelled to wrest his body from Athena's clutches. We still don't know why she chose Claudian. What makes him more suited than anyone else? Although I've never spoken to Claudian, I did witness an incident that may prove revelatory. When instructing the vessel to do her bidding, she called it by a familiar name. Erichthonius. Is Erichthonius' reincarnation? Objections? No. Concerns? Yes. <laughs> Never discovered Orosite, never fallen under its influence, would she have lived a normal life? Would she have been a mother? I ask myself the same questions. Questions with no answer, I fear. So this is it. Let's try to rush this again. Finally deployed. <laughs> Like heaven. You have done well to reach the seat of godhood. Now, 
Spare your souls to me. Souls, what does this mean? Uh, what does this mean? mechanic Thank you. 
Oh my god, everyone got knocked. Ladies and gentlemen, we got her. Irrefutable proof. True God would see us as we are imperfect. He would hammer out our flaws, build something greater. These proofs. To prove this could not but benefit the star. I would give the perfect stewards that it might shine brighter than any others. How many creations have we wrought? Such creatures cannot but usher their inferior predecessors into oblivion. Even without our meddling, nature would take the same, same course. The destination is the same. Is it somehow worse to arrive there by the guidance of a god? I think not. The site made such thoughts 
irreversible perhaps, but it cannot have created them from the whole cloth. This is Athena's truth. What right have you to pass judgment? You are but a vessel for my masterwork. Your purpose ends there. My only mistake was leaving you possessed of a soul. What are you saying? Poor Eric Thilnius, always the last to arrive at an obvious conclusion. I gave birth to you for a single reason, that you might serve as my tool. And like any tool, I crafted you to suit my needs, that you might accept my essence when the time came. Of course, I also made you more amenable to my demands and ensure that you would feel a cloying affection for your dear mother. However, it seems my thinkering was insufficient. created a boy unable to grasp even the simplest magic, ever hopelessly clinging to his mother's robes, unable to do otherwise, I was doomed from the start. Yet here you are, standing in defiance of her design. You are more than what she made you. You deserve to wear the mantle of a god. Ina was the sole force holding the fort space around Pandemonium together. Now it crumbles.
if we knew only the research. The figure of her research, she was most insistent there is no evidence connecting the Essien to myself. Yet I am aware this Lahabrea used the heart of Sabik to sow chaos throughout your world, and I would be a fool to deny such strong connections between us. You are the only one present who has met the Essien in question, so I would like to ask you directly, are he and I one and the same? Is it my fate to work in the shadows and bring about untold destruction? You see, yes, if you say it is so, there is no reason to disbelieve it. It's Essence. Or paragons, I am told, were ruthless in their schemes to rejoin the Sundered World. I've heard about a small number of their deeds, and I still find it difficult to comprehend the depths to which they were willing to sink. Choose a path of evil, all for the sake of the star. I admit, it is a decision I would make under the right circumstance. Although the ages may take their toll, my devotion to my duty will never waver. Paying no heed to what might be lost, I will treat this heart of Sabik as a mere tool for my own end. Never caring to look beyond the surface, I will unleash forces that I fail to truly comprehend and remain blissfully ignorant of my hypocrisy all the while. Eric Tonus, memory of you dwell within me still. Through unyielding discipline, you hope to forge a son equal to yourself, but the crucible you will place him in left scars which were loath to heal. Yet you were never motivated by selfishness. All you did was in service of your duty. At least I I will hear no more. Though you may possess Arithonus' memory, you are not him. In Rebirth, you have become someone else entirely, and you belong to this age. Such I am your enemy, and an enemy does not deserve sympathy. Of course, I would never condone the actions of an Asian, but you are not him. You are Lahabrea of the Convocation. Spent no effort in saving us from Athena's machinations, and for that, you deserve the utmost praise, and my personal thanks. Identity of Hephaestus Liberator, the one who set the wheels in motion in the first place.
increase control of pandemonium to La Habrea. Walk through Athena's research into hemithery. Hemithery. Restore hegemony's mind and body, okay. Matters that need to be put to rest. Served pandemonium since Athena's time, have you not? The most senior keyword now that Agdisis is gone. You deserve to know a few secrets, the others are privileged to hear, one concerning myself. Separating her vices from myself requires removing a part of my soul. Necessary sacrifice, but one which came at no small cost to my natural talent. I am but a shadow of a man. I was at the time of my appointment as the Habrea. You can never hope to wield the same magic suffices used to bind the Warden's mind, let alone break their shackles. Faisal's left behind fascinating research. His conclusion was that in order to transform a vessel into a hemithiae, absolute control over their mind was essential. As you well know, the magic used to achieve such dominion exploited strong emotions within the victim's heart. In the case of Hesphorus and Agdetus, their respect for me. Upon slipping his bonds, Hephaestus took steps to throw Pandemonium into chaos. With their attention divided, Keyboard and Water were easy targets. But there was an act that came before, regardless of Hephaestus' powers, he could not have won freedom on his own. For long days and nights I pondered who might have released them. I could only conclude Athena's plans were set in motion long, long ago when she claimed the mind of one of her admirers. Agamoni, no, no one would question your pride in your position, your devotion to pandemonium. But do you, but you do not believe I am the one fit to lead it, do you? Your loyalty lies not with my vision of pandemonium, but Athena's. As I have already stated, even should I detect Athena's tinkering, I am currently powerless to dispel it. And so I have come to the conclusion, one which was made with best interests of our star and mind. In order to build a better future, I require strength I have lost. Ah. 
I must embrace these odious memories. Mark this site well. Engrave it in your very soul. You now bear witness to the true La Habrea. So he has dispelled Athena's control over her. And I'm a bit confused. Oh, that's a nice clam.
contact with the crystal should have awakened memories. Passage of time changed Eric Thonos' soul in subtle ways. Being attuned to Eric Thonos, expose him to Athena's voice. Why Habria and Eric Donos would leave such a crystal behind in the first place lingered in his mind. With Eric Donos's memories and magical talents at his disposal. Make his final memory, okay? This memory to you, drove our star. Final days have come. The creation magic we have relied upon will now hasten our downfall. Spare has not worn out yet. La Habria and the other convocations are working to stem the chaos which threatens to engulf our star. Our plan requires great sacrifice. Elidubus, Themis, has really offered to give his life for our salvation. Yet there is another problem that which must be dealt with. Pandemonium, wherein are confined our most vicious creations. Should we survive the final days, it will take time to restore order. If pandemonium cells were breached, their prisoners set upon the star, our hard-earned peace would be obliterated in an instant. Someone must stay behind to ensure that never happens. If Themis and Lahabria are otherwise indisposed, their responsibility falls to me. That is why I must defy the directive of the Convocation. My soul will not be offered to manifest the will of the star, but instead consigned to eternal vigil. Doing so, the final days may take me. I may not live to see my duty upheld. And that's why I resolved to set this crystal adrift in the ties of the underworld contains memories of pandemonium from both my father and I, and shall bear this warning to the future even if I cannot. I imbued this crystal with magic that will attract it to my essence. Even should I journey through the underworld and be born anew, this message will reach me. Pandemonium shall not be left under. If all else fails, Perhaps another man like my dear friend will come along. One with an almost unnatural ability to pick up the scent of trouble. I wonder where he is now. How many souls he has saved. How many beasts he has slain since we last met. If this message you must come to Mandemonium. Let's make case, I repeat.
So you're a Cyric Donos who started everything. Is that a heart of Sabik? I see. Then Hephaestos' story has been laid bare. As has the nature of our mysterious crystal. The questions which led us into Pandemonium are answered. And soon order shall be restored. I too can fade away, unburdened by regret. I could not have reached this point without you, friend. <laughs> so many revelations, but there are more, if you would dig a little deeper. Elidibus's soul was plucked from the ethereal sea, and from it I was wrought. Surely you have a passing interest in what I remember, in what I feel. You deserve what answers I can provide. While my memories of Pandemonium are clear, all else is hazy at best. Perhaps Athena made me this way, or perhaps it is the result of who or what I was before. Still, I can recall vague figures, scenes from my future and your past. At the Crystal Tower's peak, we clash. And later, from that self-same spire, I send you forth into our age, into Elpis. Why do I decide on such a course? Hmm. Formless as these images are, I cannot say. However, I can hazard a guess. Somewhere within my fragmented memories, I catch a glimpse of our journey into Pandemonium. A glimpse which shows not the path we took, or the destination where it led us, yet by its very presence demands that you are required in Elpis. And even if that act is but one link in the chain of events which ends in Atheris's salvation, And this all has meaning. Our time together, every moment, is worthwhile, and I am unburdened by regret. That said, 
It is possible my motivations become something else entirely. That you would cross this vast expanse in the hopes of being reunited with your allies. A devotion that once would have baffled me. But after having been to the depths of that twisted prison and back, I think I can understand. Now, I have pulled back the curtain as far as I dare. The people of your age call this the Ethereal Sea, a name I quite enjoy, for it teems with life, each star a soul on its journey. And among these uncountable stars, it was yours that crossed my path. For that, I shall be forever grateful. I wish you well on your journey. A journey as long as your star is bright. A journey not bound by the confines of this world or any other. See you next time. <laughs> How fascinating. The truths that dwell at the edge of sleep. The course of history is set by its victors. It is immutable, and yet... Should this star continue upon its path? Look. The light. Seems like Elidibus will be reborn. Hope he is. Well, well, that's it for this stream. Time to get freshened up, get some breakfast, prepare for work. GG. That's it for now.